library management system. This project is based on php.net. Uh, so we are using Microsoft Visual Studio 2015 and Microsoft SQL Server 2014 for our database. So let's get started. And first, we have to open project. So I open website. This is our project of this system. Okay. Here all the files are loaded in the solution explorer. Now we have to connect to the database. So open the web drop and click file. This is the server name. This is the server name. Okay. Now open Microsoft SQL Server. Connect. Now you can see here. Server name. Copy it here. And paste it here. Initial catalog refers to that this is not database. I'll show you. Connect. Database is five system. EP database. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you how to get this database. Click on right click on databases in the database. Library system. I'm not going to again create the database name library system. Already created here. So, near query, here you can select library system. Now, open the database file. Here, you can select all, copy, and paste it here. Here, you can create the uh, database library system. Okay, now you can get this table from here. So, you have to agree with all of this data. Okay, now you have to update the stored procedure. So, you can buy the respect all of And you can paste it here. And select all and agree with this data. I'm not gonna take it. So, after that, uh, all the tables are created here. Okay, now we have to add, add the admin here. So, to drop the 100 rows. Now you can see there is one admin. Okay, I'll show you how to add this admin. Yeah, you can add it admin username admin password here is admin create it okay now the admin is created here okay now here you can see a book table. So this book is added the element here. Already added some branches here. So this.
Now I will create a I'm going to the studio here the folder yes it's right on the way it's an also my box this is the interface of all project now Okay. Now you can see that it's successful. Okay. Now the wing can shape all the available books in the library. Now the ASP.net in the quantity 15 rated 50 books here. Available books is left here. Okay, the vision uh not issue any book to the student. Okay, so the available book is left here. Okay, now here yeah, you can see the details of the book. Okay. Uh, as the publication, there is no uh as the publication box. Okay. TMT publication, there is no books on the TMT publication. There is no books on the civil branch, there is no books in the mechanical branch. There is only one book available in the CSE branch. Okay. And add more books. Okay, now you can see the value of the report. There is two available in the same branch. There is one in the publishing box and other is as a publishing box. Now all books are available. Okay, now we have to add the same.
So there is no penalty. Okay. 
Now I will show you if student written book after the due date. Here issue date is 1. So today's date is 1. If student uh, return this book or 4 May. Okay. So. Oh, here you can see here oh, is the uh, status. Yes, okay, then go. Okay, please pause the penalty. Penalty here. This one is okay. Now you can see here that is status because issue did one. So, issue for only two days. So, then I have to go on the email, but uh, he is. On four now you can see here so the net amount is 20 reason eight return now amount is successful okay. there is no return available now now we should student status Borrowed issue date is one and return date is four. Now I will show you the penalty report here. Is yes, penalty report of the student. Do not return the date. Get it here. 